Uh, my name is Elvezio Morenzoni. I am the head of laboratory for Mion Spin Spectroscopy here at PSI. So we are now in the experimental hall. Uh, there in the corner, there is the cyclotron, uh, the proton accelerator, which accelerates protons up to 600 MeV. Uh, this is the most powerful uh, cyclotron of this time, uh, type worldwide. It produces more than 2 milliamp proton currents. Uh, the protons are then uh, transported along this channel uh, here. And in this channel, there are two so-called production targets. Uh, the protons uh, traversing this target, they make a nuclear reaction where uh, pions are produced and out of the pion decay, uh, we obtain the muons. Uh, and then these muons are then collected in the different uh, beam lines where the instruments for muons are, but there are also experiments uh, in particle physics are then uh, performed. Uh, PSI is a so -called, has a so-called continuous muon beam. So this is different from a pulse machine as ISIS, for instance. Continuous muon beams, it means that uh, we obtain the muons one by one. Uh, we don't have a bunch in a, in a part. So we have to, uh, for a muon star experiment, since we need the implantation time, we have to detect each muon singularly. Uh, this has the advantage that you can do this with very high uh, time resolution, and this allows to uh, then uh, perform experiments with, uh, where you need very good time resolution. This is, for instance, the case in high field uh, where you have uh, large uh, high precession frequencies. Yeah, so this is one, the latest uh, instrument that we are uh, commissioning now. Uh, this is so-called high field uh, Miosan instrument where it is possible to perform experiments in high magnetic fields up to 9.5 Tesla and down to 20 millikelvin, so very low temperature. Uh, this is the, the magnet uh, which makes the 9.5 and the dilution refrigerator uh, for the 20 millikelvin. And um, this is a very demanding instrument because uh, in, in uh, about 10 Tesla, the muon spin precession frequency is very high, so you need uh, to measure the muon spin precession, you need a very good time resolution. So this needs a special detector system and this has been developed uh, within uh, JRA. Uh, this you may see the, the detector system. Uh, it, is, it has to be very compact because the, the positrons emitted from the muons, they are on a spiral with a very small radius in 10 Tesla, so you have to have the detector very close <coughs> to the sample. It has to have a very good time resolution, so better than 100 picoseconds, and it has to work in, in a large magnetic field as uh, 10 Tesla. And this has been developed within uh, JRA, and this took several years, uh, but now we have a system really having this performance. Another uh, work which has been done within JRA is the instrument simulation and the simulation of the muon beam line. Uh, so this is also quite demanding because you have to bring these muons in the 10 Tesla field. Uh, so this needs a very detailed uh, simulation of the muon trajectory first and then what happens really in the sample region, uh, looking at the positrons emitted, background, out of veto, uh, unwanted events. Just like you, see through your eyes.